There are so many options for video conferencing online, but my hands down favorite is the website Zoom. I absolutely love Zoom because the quality of the video is so much better than anything else I've experienced and the platform is easy to use. So today I'm going to take you behind the scenes to show you how I use the web application Zoom. So when you go to zoom.us, you can just do a backslash and type in download, and they have various options. They have Zoom client for meetings, a plugin for Outlook, extensions for Chrome and Firefox, and a plugin for um, Intel. You can also download the mobile app. So people will be able to use Zoom on mobile devices, which is really, really nice if you're using it for, say, a webinar format. So I tend to use the desktop application and when you open it up you can immediately join a meeting or you can sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my information here. And walk you through the platform. So you've got four different options here. Like I said, you can join a meeting and what happens is each room has its own meeting ID. So if you've received a meeting ID from somebody else, you can click join, simply type in that meeting ID and you're good to go. Now what I love about Zoom is you can also schedule calls. So say for instance you're using video calls for a coaching discovery call or a coaching session with a paying client you can go ahead and schedule them so you can send a unique link to that meeting ahead of time. You don't have to wait until the absolute moment you're launching this app for them to be able to hop in the room. So to schedule a Zoom call, you just type in all the information here, date, time, the duration of the call. You can even do recurring meetings, which is really nice. Um, you can decide whether or not the video camera turns on when you are uh, starting a broadcast or not and that works for you and your participants. Now, here's a fun fact that I learned in Zoom. If you click use personal meeting ID, you will have the same meeting ID no matter when you go live. This feature is incredible because it basically gives your web camera a unique link that never changes. So you can create stock emails to say, hey, if you book a discovery call, here's the link to my room, and you don't have to worry about customizing it per call. So make sure that you check the box beside use personal meeting ID, and it will simplify your scheduling process. All right, so another thing you can do is start without video or start with video. So if for some reason you're still getting things organized and you don't want to immediately go into your meeting and have people be able to see what's in your area, then you can click start without video, which is a very nice feature. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start a broadcast so you can see the web quality of the application Zoom. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click the start with video. And now you guys can see me. So you have a few options. You can join by phone, join by computer, and you can say join audio by computer. Now right now as I'm recording this video, I'm using a microphone plugged directly into my computer. I tend to like to use an external microphone simply because the quality is better than what's built into my computer. So just something to think about if you're going to use Zoom. So we'll say join audio by computer and you guys can see me now. I can enter full screen or exit full screen. Now if I want to invite people in the room and I haven't previously contacted them, I can just click on invite and it will open up a blank email that I can simply send to whoever is hopping into that call with me. So this is a really nice feature because you don't have to worry about hopping around. It populates all the information for you. You simply add their information and hit send. So some other things that you can do, you can actually record directly in Zoom, which saves you a little step. You can also activate the chat feature. So when you type in the chat box, obviously you can type here. You have more options by clicking here where you can save all the contents of the chat if you want to save it for minutes from a meeting. You can also select 
who you want to talk to if multiple people are on the call. So sometimes if you have a group meeting and you want to say something specifically to only one person in the meeting and you don't want everyone to be able to see it, their name will populate here. Just click on their name and then type whatever it is you want to say and it will only appear to them. Some other things that you can do is share the screen easily. You can share to an iPhone, you can share to the desktop. Um, if I click desktop right now, this is what happens. And so it's a very easy transition. I can easily annotate things on the screen by drawing, changing the colors, spotlighting things. And if I want to stop sharing, all I have to do is click stop share. So I will tell you, Zoom is probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite video conferencing tool, because everything about it is really intuitive. I really, really like it. Also, as you can see, the video quality is fairly decent for a web video call tool. Um, when you have two people in the room, it actually does that split screen look on its own. So you could actually use it for video interviews for a YouTube channel or something to that effect. So it is interesting with you guys being able to see me while I'm doing this, but I just wanted you to know how much I love Zoom, how I use it in my business, and to show you some of the features that maybe you didn't know were there. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would encourage you to click on that subscribe button. And if you would like access to my free resource library where I have over six different PDFs and video tutorials that are way more extensive than what I put here, simply click on the link in the description. I'll talk to you guys later and don't forget, download the app soon. Bye-bye.